One of the most striking cases in the history of psychology is the case of the wild child of Aveyron. It was the year 1797 in a woodland area in France. Near a village called Le Can, there was a little boy who was naked, covered in dust. The boy, who does not talk to anyone in any way and exhibits wild movements, attracts a lot of attention from the villagers. The boy who ran away from the village at the first opportunity he found, is caught again by three people in the same area a year later. This time, the child, who was taken to a house, is taken care of for a week, given food, washed and dressed nicely. But the wild child runs away again at the first opportunity. After his escape this time, the child reappears from time to time. The boy, who comes to the house of villagers especially when he is hungry, then dives deep into the forest again. Two years later, in 1800, on an icy winter day, the boy is caught again. After this capture, the child is not released into the wild again and the child is being taken care of by the locals of the village. After hearing about a child who never speaks, walks on all fours and makes strange noises Napoleon's brother Lucien Bonaparte wants the child to be examined by experts. Experts examining the child conclude that he has just entered puberty. The boy, thought to be aged around 12, has been named Victor. The development of the child, who started to be trained by Jean-Marc Gaspard Itard, one of the famous doctors and trainers of the period, is followed with great interest and hundreds of visitors flock to the house where he is located to see the child every day. At first, the child behaves in a way that is completely far from humanity, typical of animals. The child that cannot even differentiate between hot and cold, burns himself again and again after reaching for hot potatoes repeatedly, does not have a viable pain threshold, has no outward reaction to things that does not exist in nature, no interest in anything except for food and sleep. Always on trigger a child that cannot focus on anything at all. In one of the studies conducted on the child, it seems that his hearing has become completely compatible with nature. It is observed that the child, who reacts instantly to the sounds of various fruits falling to the ground and the sounds of some animals, does not show any interest in the sound of a gun exploding very close to him. Months after the start of his training, Victor is beginning to make the hot cold distinction. It is noted that with the achievement of this distinction, there was a boom in the development of Victor. The child, who first begins to pay attention to the temperature of the water while bathing, shows behaviors such as not approaching bathing in the evening to avoid getting wet, wearing clothes to feel warmer, enjoying events such as hugging and getting peace. All this is followed by him crying for the first time. The observants also tried teaching Victor how to read write and speak in the first place, it is determined that he can hardly distinguish human voices from one another. After five years of training, it seems that he can distinguish very few written words and understand only a few words when he hears them. It is also noted that he has started to be able to use some vocabulary cards, but the child never manages to speak. Because he couldn't make almost any sound, he says the three or five words he can use against everyone and every event without understanding their meaning. Nowadays we know that even some animals can distinguish between written words and numbers. There are also many of you who know Coco the gorilla, who can speak using sign language. Moreover, the reaction to words is also present in cats and dogs. Therefore, this development of Victor, in fact, quite disappointing to the experts, but especially attracts the attention of psychologists quite a lot. Along with all of these negativity, it seems that the child communicates with people more and more it seems that the child, who at first sits in a corner and communicates with people only when he is hungry and tired, later loves to spend time with his doctor Itard and caregiver Gera very much. In fact, this even applies to animals. While a dog you see on the street will not stay close to you at first, if you continue to feed and love it every day, it will eventually become attached to you and will not leave your side even if it is not hungry. The really interesting change is shown as starting to have empathy. An incident that happened when Gera's husband, her caregiver, died, revealed this situation. The child, who puts the same number of plates on the table every dinner, immediately removes the plate from the table after Gera starts crying when he puts the plate down that evening and never puts a plate for Gera's husband ever again. The fact that he can sense that something is wrong with the act of crying and changes his behavior makes psychologists think that he had empathy. After a total of six years of training, Dr. Itard gives up and finishes the training. The story of Victor, who lived quietly until the age of 40 and died in 1828, is completed just like that. The message that this interesting child left to the world of psychology was that it would be possible to educate mentally disabled children. The biggest reason for that is although he hasn't learned much, 
Victor showed experts that even the most hopeless case can be teached with enough care. Victor has unwittingly increased the educational opportunities of all mentally disabled children. The question that remains in mind is how old was the child that was left in the wilderness and how did he manage to survive? According to the theories, Victor, who was abandoned by his family at the age of four, is also alleged to have been mentally disabled or deaf before he was abandoned. Another conclusion drawn from Victor's experiences is the possibility that there is a time called critical process in language education. The theory is that after a certain age, you can never teach the language to a person who has never been exposed to the language. If you like the video remember to subscribe to my channel and you ring the notification bell.